The following video is not a polished episode. It is purely the highlights from a live stream investigation done on a phone and at the mercy of reception. These videos are designed to show you some unique places, give you the history and give you any happenings that we might have had. Are they paranormal? I'll let you decide. So tonight we're at Mount Gambia and we're at one of the hotels so and we're staying here tonight it's the Mount Gambia hotel and it is we've been in we've dropped our bags off it is simply beautiful so we're going to take you for a little walk around we're going to give you a little bit of history and a few of the things that have been happening there we're staying in two rooms which is 9 and 12 which are said to be the haunted room. So it all felt very, putting everything in there felt all right, but we've got a long, long night ahead of us. I oh, know, it's beautiful, isn't it? And how intricate it is. Can you get a closer look? I've never actually saw. Hi. Hello. <laughs> well, hello. How okay, are you doing? Just looking at the ironwork. It's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? If I've just introduced Belinda. Hi. This strange voice from nowhere. <laughs> Just some lady accosting us in the street. <laughs> Hi. Um, so you, you, you run the yes. hotel, you're the manager. Yep. So that's your title. Yes, I'm the venue okay. manager. I've been here for 18 months. Right. Prior to that, I was at the Park Hotel, which is another one of the Matthews Group's hotels, okay. um, which I was there for nearly seven years. Okay. Yeah, so it was um, a, the booking office for the coaches, oh. the mail run. So that's one way there were so many coach drivers around Yeah, which makes sense. Mm. I right. love this, um, the entrance bit here is really cool. Oh my God, look how beautiful this is. Oh! The work is amazing, isn't it? I'm just yeah. looking at the plaster work at the moment. So when was this built? So this was built in 1862, mm. hence the name of the restaurant. I just said um, 100 years exactly, 100 years exactly from before I was born. <laughs> 1962, 62 is a good year. There you go. Just so. <laughs> no, you keep bringing up that all day. <laughs> this yeah. lovely gentleman on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yes, his grandchildren are now the owners. Oh, okay. So that he's one of the yeah, that's Matthews. Seymour Matthews. Um, so he, oh, they've been in hotels now for over seventy years. So the hotel is really quite beautiful. So I just yeah, thought all the the work on the like the ceiling and the press tin, the gaming room roof is amazing. Yeah, yeah, the other press tin up the side. So this back in the day was actually open. So this was all an addition. So this here had no roof, there was a big tree that oh. grew through the middle and it was called the atrium. Um, but you know, Mount Gambia is really cold and wet so they came and put a glass roof on it. Right. Um, or yeah, I could, say, I could imagine how cold it would be with no yeah. roof on it. It's like... um, but the roof used to leak so at some stage in the last 30 odd years I think it is they've actually... Um, yeah. What was they called? Planked it in. <laughs> Timbered it up. Timbered it up. Timbered it up, so, um, yeah. Of course, then there's the upstairs. Yeah, which is all yeah. old. Very old retro old. at the moment. <laughs> which is where we are. <laughs> Until it gets this big reno in a couple of weeks, and then it will be much more and modern. Let's, let's see what that stirs up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually had a spirit while I was talking to one of you while you were pine tea. Yeah. Just felt cold. You said that. Yeah, it's we been right across the shoulders. So, and a couple of times we've been in the gaming room doing our final count stuff, and we can hear noise out here. We don't know what it is, but we just go, "What Are the hell's that?" Make noise? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And Izzy's had a couple other experiences. Oh, yeah, sometimes, like, I swear I've turned all the heaters off and then one just turns back on and I'm thinking, did I just forget? I don't think I forgot. I think it just yeah. turned back on. And then, like, other times I go to check the doors upstairs and, like, room seven sometimes open. I was actually just standing around the bar there. Yeah. And then, like, all the doors are closed and everything. And then I felt someone, like, touch my 
my shoulder and then like pull my shirt a little bit and I like swung around spilt my drink everywhere <laughs> I was like whoa what the heck was that <laughs> ran out to the gaming room and I thought we touched me because <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see anything yeah we checked on the camera it definitely wasn't my hair or anything yeah you just see me swinging around right and it was a definite yeah it was like pull. I know like it could have been a nerve pinching or something but it was definitely yeah felt like something okay Ooh. Ooh. Someone likes you. <laughs> Probably Henry. <laughs> Henry. Well, that's Henry what Carol is his name. Mm. Oh, okay, because Alice always says, "Oh, it's only Henry." Yeah, well, yeah. His actual yeah. name is Henry. But Henry, Henry Carol passed away here in the hotel because she Alice doesn't believe in ghosts, and he was a mailman. Ooh, a mailman. Hmm. Maybe he's bringing me something special to read. Well, we were just reading that, and that we were actually the coach office for the mail. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so we have a mailman company. Okay. And Henry died after having a quarrel with Thomas <laughs> in the backyard. Oh, hmm. So what was Thomas's last name? Salt. What was his last name? Salt. 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 Mm. And the other one that died was William Young. Yeah. William Young, yeah. He was the other male and, and Alexander Mitchell, he was the actual publican. Oh, okay. Well, the fa he was the founder of the Gambia in 1862. Mm. Oh, wow. So it's a little mezzanine. Whew. So. That would be the outside, wouldn't it? No, that is the entrance into room number ten, and then. But once upon a time, it would have been. Oh yeah, once upon external, a time, it would have been, yeah. External. Looking at the windows. Yes. So yeah. you can sit up here and. Help observe the world go by. Doesn't say did you have things in there? Uh, yeah, just the equipment out. We were doing a. I think it's finished now anyway. I was doing abandonment. So so this is my room. Excuse the junk. It's not looking its best because I've kind of thrown... Ca Mind you, that case wasn't like that. Now that's weird. Because... Was your phone like that? That was, but I've got my watch. And the ovelus under there... And there is no way I would have put my case on top of those. Absolutely no way. And nobody's been in here but me. And the fun <laughs> begins. There's no way I would have. I would have had. Oh, certainly the watch has moved for a start off. I took my watch off, and I would not have left my ovelus like that under a case, even if it's accidentally tipped back, it would not have been, I would not have put it on top of equipment. In fact, you can't put it on top of equipment. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Things have actually moved in my bedroom. So, so what's been happening in here? Um, people have just said that they've been in here and have felt cold shivers and or heard noises at night time yeah things yeah and did somebody see a maid an old maid or something maid. dead maid that's what one of the girls was telling Pam's told you yeah yeah mm -hmm. that there was a, a maid scene in here and a child scene in the other room yeah i know so. wilma's seen a child in the other room right um was downstairs in the restaurant as well yeah yeah. So we'll uh, get investigating. Are you going to join us? Sure, I'd love to. Are you excited? Absolutely. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. We're going to have a little play in this bedroom here. So we've been given the most haunted rooms, which is 9 and 12. 12. So Kang's definitely got the creepiest one. Explain why. Why are we in the creepiest room? <laughs> I, I can see them there. To find the creepiest things. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe there's a staircase. Yeah, there's an old staircase that goes down into the old restaurant, um, which used to be an entrance then to the outside of the hotel. But I don't know what they actually used it for. All right. So we put the doll on there. 
Now, just under on the staircase, I believe there's been a child seat. Yeah, yeah, a man that seems to walk through at night time. All right, so in case... Oh, a man as well. A man as well. Yeah, there's a man as well. Cool. <laughs> so Cag is sleeping in this bed right next to where... Oh, ball's going off by the whiskey. Right where the top of the staircase used to be. So I've just reminded Keg how wonderful it's going to be tonight when she wakes up and finds some creepy little child looking at her <laughs> inside of a bed. Do you want to come and play? <laughs> no, I'm sleeping. <laughs> so we're only kidding now, guys. All right. So we're going to go through, we're going to launch straight into, you can see where all the equipment is, guys. We're going to launch straight into doing some audio stuff because a couple of these ladies have to go back to work. So they're just on their break and they're so excited about coming to see what we're doing. So if there is anybody here, my name's Alison. I haven't actually introduced ourselves. You'll know who these ladies are. If there is anybody here, would you like to give your name, please? If you want, you can come over here to this little box. It's got a little orange light on it. I know it all looks very strange. And you can try and put your voice on that. Alright? If you want, you can come over here to this little box. It's got a little orange light on it. I know it all looks very strange. And put your voice on that. Alright? All right, I'm going to start it off just when I switched it off. Yeah, there was that. Uh. And you can try and put your voice on that. All right? I don't know. Is it on? Very strange. And you can try and put your voice on that. All right? Let's move. <clears throat> Let's move that Yeah. So all it is, oh, you've told them, have you? I thought it was spoken radio, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're going to get your local radio stations coming through. But that's fine, that's what you're meant to do. You're listening for something different. Like <laughs> talking from Alright, so if there is anybody here, now's your time, you can give us your name. Come on. Everybody calls you Henry, by the sounds. We did find a Henry. Henry, it was very sudden, your death. These ladies who don't know about Henry. You work for the Royal Mail coach driver. And you were joshing around, weren't you, with a stable boy. There you go. And then he suddenly dropped dead. Strange. <laughs> you were tussled. Did I just say very strange? Can you tell me how many living people are in this room, please? Sound doesn't matter, doesn't it? It did not. And what we do, it may be radio, but we've run with it just to see if it goes anywhere. If it doesn't go anywhere, we come back and just ask another question. Or because she's got to go soon, shall I put it headphones on? Yeah. All right. But we're biased, all right, because we've asked the question, we know what we think we want to hear. And then you hear a noise and you just go, oh, I think I heard that. <laughs> so, we take the bias out of it. Okay. Um, so the idea is that I don't hear the questions and I'm just going to call out anything I hear. Mm -hmm. So, And that totally takes a bias yeah. out of what I'm expecting to hear. Okay. All right, Alison, can you hear me? Alison, can you hear me? I've got a Jameson and coat working for you. No, she's all good to go. Well, I should be back in here like nobody's I business. Hate this. I didn't want to hear that. What? I just heard, seriously, just heard a man's voice that was going, um, uh, you know, that uh, that really gruff 
<laughs> all right. All right, going, I think, nine. <laughs> and it's like, well, hang on a minute, that's my <laughs> Oh, and, oh, uh, and the one behind the door's gone off as well. Is it? Yeah. That was two gone off in two different places. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> so, if you're with us tonight, can you tell me how many living people are in this room, please? Just let us know that you're here. Crystal. It's not not a name of anybody here, is there? No. Oh, it could be the little girl's name. Could be. Are you the one that made the ball flash? I did. Oh, that's pretty cool. She can't hear, can she? Because you've done this before, haven't you, with this? Yeah. If it was you, thank you so much indeed for that. It would be good if you could do that again for us, just to prove that it was you. Just like one of the bulls up. That would be really cool. Dad. Yes. Crystal, are you the little girl that's seen here? Is that what your name is? I do hear better because I'm not as old as you. <laughs> Only by one year. No, it's more than that. Now, I don't know what questions have been asked already, so I'm probably going to be repeating some of them. Hi, as a child. Oh, hello. You want to come and play? There's another one, another young female saying, I know. Would you like to come and play in the room? Keg would love you to stay here and play all night. You can play tricks on her. You can run up to her bed when she's no. sleeping. No, all right. <laughs> and do you know what would be very funny? Is if when Keg no. wakes up in the night, you Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to talk to? Are you happy to talk to one of us? I just said cow. Actually, what's on the bed? Forty. It's a cow. Is it? Is yeah. It a dog? No, it's a cow. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got ladders. <laughs> Message. <coughs> I forgot she had the cow out. So you little girl? Or are you a little boy? Butcher. It's a lot of meat cow themed. It's just a butcher. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was a butcher. Is the cow familiar to you? Okay, we... I just thought I heard cow. Okay. Is the cow familiar to you because you were a butcher or a farmer? I'm not really getting anything else coming through at the moment. Okay. Anything? Oh, it was interesting when you said cow. Why? Because I was joking that. Well, they must have been talking about you, because obviously it knows you. But on the other note, there is there is a there is a toy cow sitting there is. on the bed. On the bed. Here's another one, another coachman. Seem to know what happened to the coachman. <laughs> you wanted to be a coachman back in the day, wouldn't you? This one was in eighteen eighty-two, so two years before Henry Carroll. An awfully sudden death happened. <laughs> Has occurred here. Shortly before nine tonight, 
the mail coach from Narricourt drove up to the post office and the mail was de duly delivered. When immediately after, oh, he, after starting for the stables, the driver, William Young, was seen to drop from his seat and before going for the ostler. So he, he stayed alive for a little bit. They brought him here. So, and he died in one of your rooms. Oh, so that was uh, oh, Young, William Young. That was two years before the other one. At least you have names. Yeah. To play with. Find that landlord. And by me reading it out, also don't think we're not investigating because by my me reading the story out, you sometimes wonder whether something will kick in and mm -hmm. kind of like if you hear an interesting story. Um, where are you? Landlord? Ah, ghost box said three dead before. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Well, that would be the three. I'm just trying to find the landlord, and that would be the three. Um, we decided the little name, girl's name was Crystal, didn't we? Oh, because oh, I yeah. came out with that name, yeah, Crystal. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to be cool with that. Yeah, so maybe I'll be like, cold stop putting in Crystal. Mm. How old would the name Crystal be, though? I think Crystal would be an old one, surely. Isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. That's what Google's for. <laughs> Something else to research. It dates back from 1590s. Does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it is. I wouldn't have thought it would have been in a. Power off. Oh, well, that, that well, could the be that. The thing is, crystal, the thing crystal has been, crystals have been around for a while. Yeah, so it's become popular in the 1980s. Um, that was, what did I say? Yeah, 1590s. Okay, are you the person that's seen walking up and down the stairs that's going to change of air pressure behind you? The other light's flashing. Thank you. Again. Okay. Are you going? Where do you want us to go? It's just static, isn't it? It doesn't usually sound like that. Which again goes back, you must have a lot of electrics and yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. fields. Yeah. 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 Which is interfering with yeah. the thing. Okay, we're gonna stop this now. Can you say goodbye to us please? Can you say bye? Is that all you're going to give us? But well, I was curious. <laughs> it was well timed. <laughs> Should we do a headphone? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if there's anybody with us tonight, can you tell me the name of anybody that was in this building? Anybody from the past? Still likes to walk around here. Stop recording. <gasps> Stop, Stop recording. recording. <laughs> so, is there a little girl here? No. Okay. Oh, that's well timed, isn't it? What about a fire sign? What about it wasn't here? Here. <laughs> Dad. Again, you had to have it dad came out upstairs, yeah. Are you looking for your dad? Because whatever we, if we ever get anything coming through, it doesn't have to be from your hotel. Well, You're literally of, throwing it out into the yeah, atmosphere. And the part of one of our hotels. Mm. Um, oh, but that actually burned mother. down. Mother. And then they rebuilt it. Mm. Are you looking for your parents? Mother. Are you, for, are you looking for mommy? Mother. Mother. Please, sorry. mother. Are you English? Because I use my brother's time. 
Are you English? Help. Help. Do you need help to find your parents? Do you need help to find your mother? Mm. Same thing, wasn't it? With yeah. dad. Yeah. Did you never find your mum and dad? No, it goes It's kind of a sad help. Isn't it? Help. Oh, help. I think she's actually. Help me. No, she, I think she's focusing in on that. She is. She's doing really well. Yeah. It's not easy. Help me. Well, that's repeating a lot. What do you want us to do? Please. What can we do to help you? What do you need help with? Do you need help to find your parents? Where's your mum? Where's your mother? When did you last see her? Please. It's coming out the radio station, you're not going to get a repeated over and over no. again. Help me, help me, help me. It's just not going to happen. Help me. Like yeah. that. And I'm talking really softly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell us what you want us to do. What do you need help with? How can we help you? Can you tell us? Help me. It's almost like she's trying to stay out as well. Mm-hmm. Boy. So you're a boy, not a girl. Did you live in the hotel? Help me. It's weird. She's weird. Now it's going weird. That's the Whoops. That was me. Medicine. Help me. Medicine. Or medicine. Maybe she wish she had because a lot of disease went through, didn't it? Just turn that off now. Psychic. That's the same word. I we can't move things on. Mm. But maybe if you know of anybody who can. Do you need to get somebody in to help you? Help me. Oh this is this is this is weird, this is weird now. It's almost a bit tingly, isn't it? <laughs> She's just sitting there tranced out on it. Eyes oh, shut. I'd like to help you. But if you give us your name, are you a little boy? Drop. I wonder if she remembers saying it. Yeah, yeah it's repeating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to? Because I would have stopped her anyway. I jumped. I jumped. Oh. oh. Where did you jump from? Where did you jump from? Damaged. Damaged. Jump off the balcony. Did you jump off the balcony? She's totally just tranced. But it's stopped. She's not saying anything now. You still there? Help. Okay. That's the place we don't want to go and disturb her. Listen. If she I am listening. I'm shivering now, which I didn't think before I was born. I'm absolutely oh. shivering here. <laughs> this is also why we try to not come in with too much knowledge. Yeah. Stay. You want us to stay? Oh, that's nice. To begin. Sick of that noise by now, surely. Most people by now rip those headphones off because they're just annoying. Always. Help me. Hang 
courtyards and stables were at the rear. Mm -hmm. In 1869, a billiard room was added. <clears throat> what? In 1875, John Maribel, a local butcher, thrown from oh. his buggy on Panola Road. Horse and buggy continued on and collided with the hotel. You oh. were saying butcher. Yeah, he was before. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Okay, in the late 1800s, a ghost was supposed to inhabit the rear yard of the hotel built, but it was proved to be a prankster. Yeah. In a sheet. <laughs> just, just yeah, that's, that's all I've got on that. Yeah, no. She's just not opened her eyes, she's not blinked, she's not. Well, I'll screenshot that, because I don't even know how I found that. Bonnie. Bonnie, is yeah, that your Bonnie. name, Bonnie? What did I have written on here? Yeah, Scott. Music um, like that, it's got music. I've got Sandy, John Maribel. That's the only name I've got. But you took help me. Yes. Help me again. So what can I say? Bonnie. Yeah. Just Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah. Bonnie's yeah. Again, so. Or Bonnie could be the child's <coughs> sister. Is Bonnie your sister? Did you lose your sister as well? He told two minutes ago. When? To, to open her eyes now. Help me. My parents. So you, you haven't found your parents? Help me. Can you confirm your name is Bonnie? It's like she's just on that one track that it's not listening, it's just mm -hmm. looping. You still there? Who needs help? Are you a child? That's a frustrating thing, we're not getting an answer on this. Are you a child? Two. Is that your age? God, I'm frozen. How are you? Fine. Can you come take over? Because I am shivering. The camera's just going everywhere. <laughs> Help me. Dead. It's really cold here. It's, it's freezing. It, it's, 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 it's not her. Me. Of course, you're getting close to, closer to her. I'm frozen. Absolutely. I'm frozen. frozen. Yes, I'm do it. It's not just me then. It, honestly, I am so cold now. I start to absolutely shiver. Ooh. I think we should let her out now. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's Tell. Cold. Should we see if we can wake her up? Or go around to it? Well, you don't touch it. Have you got a torch on? You just flick her. Flick her. Flick her. Uh. Oh, no, she's still going. She's gone back on there. <laughs> Help me. I'm going to have to. She did smile, so. All right, all good. Do we take off? Yeah, now. Yeah. What happened? That. You were really weird because you never moved. 
the whole time. Yeah, I kind of just felt like you're sleeping almost and it was just in a dream and I was just saying kind of what they're saying and eventually I'd open my eyes a little bit and then be like, like back to sleep. Like when we took the torch and you smile and then you went back. Yeah, because like when you did the torch it kind of brought me back a bit like where I was but with all the words I was kind of like saying and hearing I was like I think forming a story in my head so when I heard something else it would just kind of you'd really like tell the difference between the radio people's yeah. voice and then just these random that's why sometimes I'd make facials of like or like when it said dead I was like yeah. and like Bonnie and things like that but no yeah it said it helped helped me a lot it did and it's like it, would, it wouldn't say that was that one particular voice that said that it was this very and it was help me help me is it male or female male there was one I think I heard one time it said help and it was like a little girl like help and that was it and then the rest you was just say help, it's not help. Mm. Yeah. Mm. and then there was this yeah I heard Bonnie and two family I think Dad, I think it said at mm. one point. And mother. Yeah, mother. It does like the loop. And when you hear the thing, I would just almost like every time I'd be like, pretend, like I'd try and not think, is it going to say help me? And I, it would just say it every so single it time. Clear. Yeah, it was no, help me, help me. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Well done, you. <laughs> I won't be setting the tables in here and then. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, um, that was female. I jumped as female. And then Bonnie, it sounded almost younger than the voice I'd been hearing when it said Bonnie and two, like around that part. I said sister. I said sister, yeah, that one was kind of like a monotone, just like, it kind of sounded like the help me voice. Yeah. But to get help me that often it out of the radio, that, you wouldn't get that. It was a lot. Yeah. Mm. All right, so we have finished investigating that was really intriguing really wasn't it night. yes so but it's time to retire it is. you have to go to your bed yes I'm going and to make sure anyone tickles your feet yeah you have to tell us if anything happens because we yeah. might have been asking <laughs> <laughs> we might well, have I'm not surprised we might have requested a few things mightn't we uh-huh Maybe. Thank you so much for letting us in. Thank That's you. That's been very much. really interesting. Um, it's it is such a beautiful place. Yeah, it is a beautiful to come hotel. To. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So now people can stay here, obviously. Yes, people can stay here. They can have the breakfast here. So we serve breakfast um, seven days a week, every day from seven thirty. Um, then we roll through and have lunches from mm -hmm. 12 till 2.30 and dinner from 5 till 9 every night. Okay. So and we're and open every day. We can actually say that the meals are lovely. They are. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. Nice. so definitely, guys, come down to Mount Gambier. Mount Gambier itself, as I keep saying, is just a beautiful, beautiful town. And there's so much to see with the mm -hmm. volcanoes and everything else. Um, and Kag as Kag and me have been saying all along, we haven't met one unfriendly person yet. No. We've actually yeah. had people stopping us in the streets. And, oh, have you? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and thanking still. us. It's just, yeah, it's been really... Mm -hmm. it's we been haven't. Great. I haven't met a rude person. No. Mm -hmm. Not one rude person. No, not so person. very friendly town, very welcoming. So come on down. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay, so tonight we are at Mount Gambier again. So, and this time we're doing another. Who's going to let you know what time it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Can the bell go any faster? It's a really slow bell, isn't it? <laughs>